In this video, I'm gonna plan out the week on one page in my Erin Condren monthly planner. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I post functional planning videos on my channel a couple times a week. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Let's get planning. I don't have any plans for um, like what I want to do, except I did just get a Planner Kate order in and I just got this washi tape. It's an older kit. It's one that I used to love, um, or it's from an older kit. And um, they have discontinued all the rolls of washi tape at Planner Kate, so there aren't going to be any more um, with the 2024 kits and forward. So I think this was a 2022 um, pattern or design or whatever. Um, it was one of the March designs, and it's just a cute little floral kind of situation. And then of course the little um, Planner Kate washi sets always come with a skinny washi as well that coordinates. It's just a green um, that coordinates with some little white like speckles. So we might use that just because I have it and it's March and March is green and it's cute and why not? I did like that it has this like peachy color so it might be nice in May as well. And so it's a little more versatile um, and Let's see, so I've got my coffee here. Let me move that out of the way. I said in a recent video I had stopped drinking coffee for no reason, I just did. It's just something I do, I don't know. I don't know why I do it. It's just if I if I go for like a day without having coffee, then I'm like, how long can I do this? I don't know. It's nice to know that I don't, I don't need to have it to be productive, it's just, yeah. But we got a, um, a inexpensive espresso maker, like the kind with like the thing that you like click into place, not like the Nespresso pod ones. Anyway, we're, um, I've been loving it. Um, I made my, me and my husband some like lattes and um, it's, it was just like a fun new little thing to learn. And um, it's been nice having just like some fun little coffee drinks just at home whenever I want them. I don't know, it's fun, I like it. Okay, it's just, you know, it's the simple things in life that bring me joy. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the month. Um, let's look at last week first. So we're gonna be planning week 13, but this is week 12, the week we're currently in. I don't have a whole lot of stuff checked off because a lot of these things um, were things that I needed to do while I was out. And then I decided not to go out because it was like storming the day that I was gonna go out. And I decided to stay home one just because it was storming and two, I love stormy weather. And it was just like an opportunity to slow down and just enjoy that kind of like lazy slow day. I was alone in my house and it was all dark and stormy and I just read most of the day. <laughs> it was a nice little break, but anyway. So I didn't do any of the things that I needed to do out and um, I may do that this weekend. Um, We'll see. The weekend is like the catch up time. So I'll see if any of that needs to happen over the weekend or if I can just push it to next week. All right, so I am going to, I don't, there's nothing I need to cross off here. I'll do a couple of these things. Um, I'll do my makeup brushes. I, st I didn't ever do them last week after I said I would. And then I haven't gone out this week and I should just wash my makeup brushes. <laughs> I don't know, I, I keep putting it off because I, I always feel like, well, I'm gonna wash them all and then they're gonna be wet and I'm not gonna be able to use them um, because I don't do my makeup enough to have like extra brushes sitting around. So anyway, I don't know. I It's me overthinking and making things too complicated. I just need to go wash them. I'll do that after I'm done filming today. How about that? Um, it's a quick task. I can do it while I'm transferring all the files over to my computer to edit. So that's what I'll do. I am making that promise right now. All right, so we've got the sticky notes that I need to migrate over. And then um, 
Uh, yeah. Oh, I put down here that I was read what I was reading because I started reading two books that came available on my hold list. Um, I went and picked up Iron Flame. I got the actual like physical book of that from the library over the weekend. Well, on Friday, last Friday, I guess. And then um, The Women by Kristen Hanna came available for audiobook. And I've been listening to that. I think I'm about 75% done and I'm really enjoying it. Iron Flame, mm, I liked Fourth Wing. I listened to Fourth Wing as an audiobook. And I started Iron Flame as the book version and I and I liked I thought I was going to like it better because of like the maps and everything. But I, that quickly kind of like went away. <laughs> I am not enjoying reading it. It's just so boring. It's so boring. And I just don't I don't like it at all. And so I know I'm not going to be able to finish it before it's due back. And I'm certain I won't be able to renew it because there's a long list for it, like a wait list. But just this morning, I got the notification that I can download the ebook onto my Kindle from the library. So um, I may give it another chance. Uh, I don't know. I think I need the audiobook. I think I might, um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, um, the women, I'm loving it. I'm really loving the women. Um, and all right, let's take this out. And then I have a note here to make some carrot cake. Um, the recipe is a gluten-free recipe from the Loopy Whisk. And, um, I need to look at it more and just make sure I have everything I need to make it. Um, if not, I'm sure there's a recipe on the King Arthur website, which is like kind of my go-to for um, gluten-free baked goods. But I think I'm gonna make little bites, like little tiny mini cake kind of things, like cupcake bites um, for Easter. So, all right. I just put that here so I wouldn't forget. And let's go and use the gray Erin Condren marker like I did last time. And um, I'll draw out the grid here. So this week, when I'm filming this, was the Erin Condren Spring Sale, which used to be called the Warehouse Sale. So if you're waiting for the Warehouse Sale, um, that was it. Um, I talked about it in my last plan with me they have like rebranded and I have like a um a post up on my blog about it they've they've changed the warehouse sale it was similar but this year it wasn't um as robust as previous warehouse sales were um as far as like the things that they had available on um on sale like they used to bring back older things that I guess that's why they called it a warehouse sale, but maybe, you know, they have since, um, they are just doing different things as far as that kind of older stuff goes. Either they're just, you know, selling out of it and they don't have a lot of inventory. I know that they've, um, they've got some things in Joanne's stores and it looks like the, the stuff that's in the Joanne stores looks like the type of stuff that used to be in all the warehouse sales. It's like the older products. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, like the older stuff, um, you could check Joann's. But so they didn't really have a whole lot of, you know, throwback stuff like they used to, but they did have the notebooks, the exclusive notebooks. And um, I did get three of those like week on one page with the mid-century circles cover and I was actually really surprised um, when I got them because there's like extra notes pages in the back I didn't realize and there's a double-sided pocket folder just like in the planners and then like the four sticker sheets that come in all the life planners um, are in there and um, for $12 having a rose gold coil and a vegan leather cover. It's just a really good deal. So I was, um, I was excited when I got them and um, 
I have one sitting here right next to me. So once I'm done drawing this grid out before I put the plans in, I'll show it to you and um, kind of just do like a quick little flip through. I did put it on my stories. I did when I first got it and I like unboxed it like the day it came in. I um, did a little story on Instagram and I was definitely surprised when I started flip -throughing it, flipping through it and saw the extra notes pages and stuff in the back. So, you know, this is how I normally do it, obviously. And let's look at this. So this is the notebook. Oh, that's backwards. Okay, here we go. Let me turn this coil. So the bendy bit is in the back. So this is a beautiful mid-century circles cover. And um, this is the layout. So it's very similar. It's like a horizontal week on one page. And um, it's actually like, this is like a week on two pages because like the checklist and everything is over here on this side. But um, you can see how like, I have like a more compact version of this. This is what I normally do. And I, I love that they're thinking like this, that their designers are thinking of different ways to have a weekly layout. Um, I really hope that this is like a test run for maybe a new life planner or something like that in the future. Um, or maybe because these were so popular, maybe they'll make this a new like guided journal type thing. I don't know, we'll see. But um, I wish this wasn't shaded blue for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is that I'm constantly using white out because I make mistakes all the time. So I wish, um, you know, it was a white background just so it wouldn't be so obvious. And two, you're kind of stuck with this blue color, even though it's beautiful. I like the blue. I love blue. All of the weekly spreads are going to be this color forever. <laughs> um, they do have... Here, I'll just flip to the next page. So it's not just this the whole time. You've got this like habit page, it's habits, tasks, and routines. And you've got like, I'm assuming this is 28 because there's usually 28 lines on the page. Um, room for 28 things for the whole week, which I think is a bit much. Um, of things you would have to do every single day, but you know, whatever, I don't know. And then a lined notes page and then another line notes page and then this one's pink and this is the old productivity layout and this is like that mauvey pink kind of color and then it just goes into this blue weekly spread again and that's pink the whole time so um you're kind of stuck with those colors i wish it was just um like I wish this was more like this, where it was like a white outline, a box, and then they could put color on these pages, like if they wanted. I love color, obviously, but um, I think it would be cool to have like a different color that matches the Erin Condren colors like each week, and then just for fun, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not mad, <laughs> I just, um, I think that there's definitely room if they wanted to like improve on this and bring it back to be like, I don't know, a life planner or something. I think this would be perfect. I don't need like these pages in a life planner, um, but if they could do like the monthly spreads like normal and then have the, the same like two page that you would get like a life planner layout, um, but do it like this and then make it follow the month Erin Condren color scheme and don't shade it, that would be like chef's kiss. That would be my new planner. I would just go ahead and get that. And then, and even though, you know, I love the monthly planner, um, but having it already done for me would be great. And especially if it was already dated and everything, that would be ideal. So I don't know, a girl can dream. <laughs> but anyway, that is this. And I think if I have some time, I might do a couple of mock-up spreads in here just to see. Um, I don't know how interesting or helpful that would be because like if you didn't get one of these and they're not available anymore, I don't know if, like, is that disappointing? Like, would you want to see something like that? Let me know and I'll play around with it and see. Um, but let's get to the planning because that's what this video is for. Let's actually plan out the week and do we want to do any highlighting? Or do we just want to use washi? 
I think we're just gonna do the washi. So um, we'll do that last. I always try to do the deco and stuff last. But let's write out, this is week 13 and it starts on the 25th. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I kinda wanna do like, just do like the initial of the weekday and then the date right below it. I don't know, just for something different. So let's try that. Let's do Monday. Oh, this one I didn't darken that line very much, but that's okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ooh, you know what? Let me look at this again, because something I didn't notice. Okay, good. <laughs> so they did a T for Thursday. I don't like the whole R for Thursday thing. I don't understand it, um, because usually when they do the R for Thursday, they still do the two S's for Saturday and Sunday, so I don't understand that. <laughs> um, and it bothers me for some reason, but that's okay. All right. So that, and then we're starting on the 25th. And 31, yes, March is a 31. All right. Okay, that's cool, I guess. And um, this is a busy week for me with as far as like meetings. I've got four like Zoom calls um, this week. And then my husband's coming home. It's Easter weekend. My son has a day off of school, so yeah. All right, let's do, let's just write in the appointments or the whatever. So this is 7 p.m. is the prep party for my, um, to make my April tending list in my power sheets. And that's a um, Gold School Premium um, event. And we're actually doing like the goals refresh or the quarterly refresh, which is gonna be fun. And then on Tuesday the 26th, I have a meeting at 11.30. I don't like, this is the part where the coil bothers me because I'm having to write lower, like the, the page is here and the coil are here. And then my pen has to go lower than, than where my arm is. And so it's awkward. Um, but I'm trying to, you know, normally I would just fold the book over on itself, which is what I will do when I have to, when I don't have to keep flipping, but you know, that's why it's, it's awkward and my handwriting is not looking great. And then on the 27th is 11 a.m. is power hour. And that's another... Um, goal School Premium event. Um, I like that it's towards the end, the end of the month because it's kind of like an hour where you just kind of dedicate and commit to trying to knock out, a, you know, a task or a project or something that's on your attending list that you haven't finished yet. It's like a nice little motivating event. And then we've got Book Club on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., we're gonna be discussing the Paris apartment. Okay. And then no school on the 29th for Good Friday. And then there's no Formula One this weekend. It's Easter. And we'll just do Easter Sunday here. All right, and then I need to, this is the last week of March, so I'm gonna put all of the things over here on, oh, I did this. Um, all of the things that are not done yet are gonna get 
which is really just my makeup brushes, which I committed to doing after filming. <laughs> um, and then Easter prep will happen before Easter. So I don't really have anything on there. And then spring cleaning is just like a more of a reminder than an actual task. It's kind of like in my cleaning, just do, do more, <laughs> clean better. Um, all right, so there's nothing to add to the list, but I know, I know I will need to do my grocery order, which is normal. It's a weekly thing forever and ever for the rest of our lives. <laughs> um, and then, um, I don't really, wh why don't I have anything else to do? <laughs> it seems weird. Um, my husband will be home. Let's put some of the tasks here. Um, we need to do some outdoor stuff, which is not on my list here. It's actually mostly on a list that I made for my husband. Um, but let's just put it on here so that I can keep in mind that I want to do that. It's, um, the owls. Okay. So i we got these little like decoy owl things that are meant to frighten squirrels away because we have squirrels chewing on our gutters, which is something I learned about squirrels is that their teeth never stop growing and forever. And so they have to chew on things to keep them filed down in their mouth so it doesn't cut up their mouth. And we have some squirrels eating, chewing on our metal gutters on the side of our house and it's really annoying. Um, so we wanna put some owls like kind of like in the trees that they're using to climb up to the top and jump over to the roof, I think. Um, anyway, so we got these like plastic owls and um, we need to install those. And then um, I got a clothesline for, how do I spell clothesline? Um, white out, here's white out. So we got a clothesline, like an outdoor retractable clothesline I need to install now that it's nice out and everything. Um, I've been like putting things outside to dry in the sun, just like on the laundry basket, <laughs> but I want to actually like try to dry more um, outdoors. The sun is the best like whitener, like it just will whiten anything. Like if you have like white towels or white t-shirts or something, put them out in the sun to dry they'll be white. Um, okay, so the clothesline we need to install. And um, let's see, I need to make these carrot cake bites. I'll just say make carrot cake. And um, oh, I will need to go to the library. Pretty sure that book will be due towards the end of this week. Well, if I picked it up, yeah, this will be two weeks this Friday and I think it's a two week. I guess I should look at that. I know they changed some things. Maybe it's three weeks. I don't know. Library, that'll help me remember. And then um, I'm gonna try to do the puzzle store. <laughs> There's a, um, a big like thrift store I like to get puzzles from. Most of the time all the puzzle the puzzles have all the pieces. I've only had one time where the puzzle was missing like one piece. Not a big deal. It was still fun to do. So um, I love puzzles. <laughs> I always have a puzzle going and I don't have one going right now and it's kind of like I don't know I just usually have one going on the coffee table so that I have something to do when I'm like waiting for my son to get home from school and stuff. Um, okay. And then something to do that's not scrolling my phone. I try, you know. Anyway, um, so I have on here Pinterest and that's something that I'm gonna write it again for next week because I didn't put in nearly as enough, as enough? I didn't put in nearly as much. I was trying to say as much and enough at the same time. But anyway, I didn't put in nearly enough effort into Pinterest as I wanted to. I want to kind of figure out some things. And um, like for my account, like 
I don't know. I just, I need to relearn Pinterest since it's a lot has changed on Pinterest for creators since I used to use it back in the day. Anyhow, um, hmm. If I don't end up making it to the puzzle store, <laughs> the thrift store this weekend, I will put it here for next week and then probably go out on Thursday. Um, I'm still going to film on Friday, even though my son's home because I'm certain he'll be playing his video game and it's not going to be a big deal. Um, so then let's just put out here. Out slash errands. And oh, we'll do the mulch too. So we bought a bunch of mulch last week or last time my husband was home and then it rained all that weekend after we got the mulch, so we never put it down, and that needs to get put down. Um, yeah, this week. So let's do that, and then I'm just gonna write garden here, um, which I don't actually have like a vegetable garden, I have like containers. I wanna go through all of my stuff that's in the garage and our little like storage closet thing and just kind of see um, what I have as far as like small pots goes. I want to start a, I want to do an herb garden. I want it to be like an indoor garden though. I just need to see like what I have and kind of decide if I want to do it or not. <laughs> so I'll just put herbs. Um, so I remember that that's, that was my intention. It was herbs. Okay. And I guess that's it. So let's do the washi. Um, because this is looking kind of rough right now. <laughs> My handwriting doesn't look that great. So we need to jazz it up with a little bit of cute washi from Planner Kate. Very cute. Um, here's this. Let's just use this here instead of getting my slice tool out. That's cute. Um, I can put the week 13 back. Will it get lost in that? How do we want to do this? Well, I forgot to set a little timer to remind me that my camera was going to shut off after 30 minutes and I talked too long, so... <laughs> Um, I'm thinking we will use one of these, like, these stickers. Should we use like that and then put the week 13 on it? I don't know. Let's cut the, let's cut the white edges off of this. I need this. Okay. So let's cut the white edges off of here. Stick this like this. And <laughs> now, I don't know. And you know, I could have tried a little harder to find a sticker that matched better, um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. I think it's fine. And let's clean up. Okay, so that is it for this week's plan with me. Remember to let me know um, what you think about a video with the, you know, this. I'll probably just go ahead and do like a haul anyway, just to show you what I got during the sale. And then I can tack on a segment with some extra like ideas for how to use this if you think you know, if you show some interest in that and let me know. Um, anyhow, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing um, because I post functional planning videos on my channel a couple of times a week. And if you liked this one, you'll probably like those ones too. And I would love to see you in the next one. Until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.